Now we will look at the map of the eruption and where lava is going. You see here the fissure, that's where the ongoing eruption is going, the red line. And lava is going mainly south, south of the volcano and slightly to the east. So it's already reached here to Meradalir, the red field, and it's already here in the middle of Meradalir. And it's likely to spill over here to the leftest point of Meradalir, here to the side, top left, spill over from Meradalir and may continue there to the ocean. But it will take a long time because the lava layer here is very thin and right now it's mainly spilling here to the east of the volcano. You see this large valley here to the east um, where we have a lot of uh, moss fires because south is to the top here, it's an uh, inverted map, so the east here to the left. So it's spilling here into this uh, eastern valley right now, and it's already almost bypassed this mountain. It uh, landlocked this uh, small mountain here uh, to the south of this valley, and is already going around this mountain, very much also landlocking the other mountain. So it will also go here, where it's the shallowest, part of the valley 160 meters so it's going this way and also here pushing to the to the left because here we have elevation it can't overcome it to the right and also here we have elevation uh, north of volcano here to the bottom that also can travel there so it's going into this last valleys here vast valleys uh, to the east and also in Meradar it's very fine Meradar already in the middle of this lava field this is how the extent of the lava flows looks right now. Now, the University of Iceland Research Laboratory in Volcanology and Natural Hazards published an interesting map with the thickness of um, lava flows from the current eruption. The reddish color indicates the uh, deepest uh, lava fields, lava accumulation uh, through the lava fields uh, uh, from Little Router. So you see here in the middle, uh, next to Kistofat, the lava is thickest and the more we go uh, south, the thinner it gets. It's the thinnest in Meradalir. It actually went further south than this. It's a bit outdated map. And here it's also quite thin to the east of the volcano and very thick close to the crater. So it's very a uh, long lava field which stretches some um, three four kilometers from north to south and currently the access is open from both sides you can access volcano from the west come to the top of little router trail a it's the best viewing spot closest to the crater and you can also come from the south from the east and access volcano somewhere here in the middle of lava fields pretty far from the crater because they don't allow you to walk here where the lava is spilling to the east. So this is the map of the lava flows and their sickness. They also published another uh, picture from Meradalir. You can also see it in my videos about the spreading of lava in Meradalir. We saw this, those lava tanks here to the left, top left in the picture, you see lava is traveling in several directions through Meradalir and it's very close now to the overspill pole point, here it's, it's the shallowest where you see the car and the jeep, here they're doing some works, I'm not sure what they're doing, if it's a lava wall or they put in some cables, but this lava is approaching that area of overspill and if more lava comes here it's likely get out of Meradalir at this point where you see the jeep and the wind is pretty far away, it's about 4 kilometers um, from here 